Angelo is the latest drama-causing epic brawler. He is the definition of toxic. You're flirting with danger, darling. So if his voice lines don't get you, his attacks surely will. Welcome to Angelo Explained. Angelo is a sharp shooter and he will be joining Will in the Swamp of Love trio. He has a very devil may care attitude to most things, but if you get on his bad side, he'll start rumors or gossip about you to get you in spats with others. He has the highest health for a sniper, coming in at a staggering 6000 HP, and that's without the shield gear, and his movement speed is also very fast, which is unheard of for a sniper. Angelo is an epic brawler, so you'll need about 925 credits to unlock it. If you need the credits, the brawl pass is certainly a great option for progression, so if you do so, please use code PAN. You'll most likely be part of the pre-release that would come out a week before the Sands of Time season starts, and that means that he'll be the first ever brawler to be released on a leap day, as he comes out on February 29th. Angelo's main attack is called Take Aim. He charges his attack and shoots an arrow on release, which is basically like Hank's attack. But here's the catch. The longer he charges his attack, the more damage he does, and it maxes out at 4,400 damage. But if you don't charge it up, it's a measly 440 damage. This also means that he's going to be terrible against aggressive assassins, as long as his shot hasn't already charged up. And it takes about 2.3 seconds to charge it up to max. The range of his attack is an impressive 11 and 2 third tiles, and since he doesn't have any ammo bar, he doesn't really have a reload speed, but it takes him about 0.5 seconds to unload a shot, which again makes it terrible if an assassin comes to your face. Angelo's trait allows him to flow over water, and he's the second brawler with his trait after Eve. Angelo's super is called Welcome to the Swamp. With this, he conjures a swamp puddle that damages enemies that walk over it for a thousand damage per second and it also imbues his arrows with poison that deal 25% damage over time for 4 seconds. If his main attack does 4400 damage, his poison damage will be 1100 damage per tick which effectively means it doubles his damage. This mini swamp lasts for 8 seconds on the arena and comes in at a diameter of about 4.5 tiles. The super charge rate for Angelo depends on how much his main attack has been charged. If if it's a max charge shot, it takes only 2 hits to get his super. And on the other spectrum, if it's an uncharged shot, it takes 16. But realistically, you will be doing a mix of mid charge to charge shots, so you could guess about 4-5 to five shots in normal play. The super recharge rate is 1 8th for every enemy who gets damaged by the super per tick. So if your super does 8 ticks of damage to any enemy, that means you're gonna get your super back. One thing to note however, is that the poison damage from the arrows don't charge Angelo's super. And if you've liked what you've seen so far, make sure to tune in tomorrow for Melody sneak peeks. Angelo's first gadget is called Stinging Flight, and when he activates it, he jumps 6 tiles into the direction that you're holding, and he drains 660 HP per enemy player that's nearby him. That also means that he's effectively healing himself up for that amount as well. This will essentially make it easier for Angelo to survive Assassin with abilities that let them close the gap pretty quick. Angelo's second gadget is called the Master Fletcher, and with this, Angelo's main attack pierces walls and enemies on a map. One thing to note is that if Angelo is over his swamp when he uses his gadget, multiple enemies in the path of his arrows get poisoned too. Now this is a very neat nice scenario. If it's a team of 3 people and Angelo uses the powered up shot, that's 26,400 damage in a matter of 4 seconds. Though you'd rarely find this sort of value and I honestly don't think most people will offer this except in maybe some knockout maps. Angelo's first star power is called Empower and if you have this it will let you heal up 600 HP per second as long as you're over the swamp. And since the super lasts 8 seconds, that's 4800 HP healed. I honestly think that this is going to be the star power of choice that's going to give you so much of survivability and presence in the map. Angelo's second star power is called Flow, and this enhances his trait even further, as now he flies over water at a much faster rate. He already has a very fast movement speed, so he's going to be crazy on some maps, but it's such a niche star power that I don't see it being viable. As you get more experience with Angelo's skills, you gain mastery over him, and you'll be rewarded with coins, power points, credits, and even some special items like the facepalm pin and a unique player icon. You can even earn the title 
bloodthirsty, which makes sense since he's, you know, a mosquito. Angelo comes with one 29 gem skin called Elf Angelo. But since it's a 29 gem skin, the attacks and animations are all the same. But now he's an elf instead of a mosquito. He holds a green mistletoe bow and his antenna is red instead of purple. And similarly, his eye patch is black instead of pink. Overall, I feel Angelo is going to be a pretty strong brawler. There are certain instances where he can be great, but those are such niche situations that they will seldom arise. He's still going to be the best sharpshooter in the meta, except for cases where he gets outranged by Mandy and Nani in maps like Shooting Star. For a sniper, he has quite the bulk to him and also a very fast movement speed, which will allow him to pursue and predate much better than most snipers and get away from difficult situations much more effectively. With his super, he can create a zone of influence where with his healing and speed, he can sustain himself in a position for a long time and if he manages to connect some decently charged shots while over the swamp, he'll get a lot of value from it. Now, depending on the map and mode, I think you can use both the gadgets. If you're expecting to face a Buzz, or Edgar, or Fang, or anything that can get up close, Digging Flight will help you get out of that situation fairly well, aiding in his survivability. In other maps where assassins aren't all that viable, Master Fletcher can get a lot of value as well. I don't think that flow will be used at all except for a map like Canal Grande where there is a lot of water in pivotal positions. With his kit, Angelo should be great in a plethora of modes like Knockout, Wipeout, Bounty, and Gem Grab. But if it's a very tank heavy meta, he might suffer as he can deal with probably one tank, but multiple tanks will definitely overrun him. Let me know if you guys are going to get Angelo for the pre-release, and if you do so, make sure you use code PAN in the Brawl Stars shop. Now I'll leave you with all of Angelo's pins and some of the sassiest voice lines in all of Brawl Stars. Sashay away. Oh, sickening. Flutter and fly off to the sky. Oh, I am so done. I'll be back. More fabulous than ever. You made a fly cry. Ah! Oh, no, you didn't. I can't even. You need to leave. You're flirting with danger, darling. That was sketchy. <laughs> buzz off, baby. I'm buzzing, baby. Ow! Oh, it's all love. Hey, I'm just winging it. You got served. Oh, boo-hoo. Dry your tears, honey. Getting stomped in the swamp. Love struck. Oh, honey. Hashtag winging. Hush mode. Half human, half fly. <laughs> all fabulous. Oh, I'm fierce and I'm fly. You just wish you were me. OMG, this is so boring. Some drama, please. Oh, main character vibes. Rainbow Rampage. Up, 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 all eyes on me. I am the drama. I'm here to slay, get out of my way. Oh, I won't bite, but I will buzz. Time to spill the tea. Look at my fabulous wings. Rocking the bougie bayou aesthetic. Giving Cupid core. Fierce, fabulous, and fly. Brr, looking for a snack. Oh, breathe in the awesomeness. Take a deep breath. And breathe. Just keep breathing. Toxic Tears by Angelo. Presenting Bayou Breeze by Angelo. Finally, some drama. See you guys next time.